Okay, so I'm going to do an Algebra 1 video for multiplying polynomials by monomials. This is related to the quadratics information. We started a little bit of this in class, but we're going to take an expression like 3x squared plus 4x, and we're going to multiply by 3. You've done this similarly, although it might not have looked exactly the same. We needed math like 34 times 3. 30 times 3 makes 90, 30 times 4 makes 12, and you add the results together. We do the same thing with this one. 3 times 3, we multiply the numbers, makes 9. 3 times 4 makes 12, and you just bring in the variables x squared and x. So the answer to the problem, the answer to the question I'm going to answer is 9x squared plus 12x. Check it, and got it. Uh, the expression can be longer than two terms. This one is a three-term expression, 2x squared plus 3x minus 5, which means that our rectangle, just for the area model, is broken into three groups because of the number of terms in 2x squared times plus 3x minus 5. And you just multiply 3 times 2, 3 times 3, 3 times negative 5, and you continue to keep the exponents. The 5 doesn't technically have a variable like x, although it does. x has an exponent of 0. When I'm done, 6x squared plus 9x minus 15. Now, the other two questions had like multiplying by a number, but this is what happens when you multiply a binomial, 7x minus 4, by x, a variable. We still put it on the edge, x times 7x and x times negative 4. There's a 1 coefficient for the x, so 7 times 1. The x also has an exponent of 1, and you add exponents when you're multiplying, so 7x squared. Technically, the 4 has x to the 0. We still multiply, that's my child. We still multiply 1 times negative 4, but we're only going to multiply uh, or add the exponent 1 and zero, which makes just 4x. So for my answer, 7x squared minus 4x. <laughs>